the hard ones. Hi, my name is Blaze Weiss, and I'm part of Port Aransas High School Student Council on today's Veterans Day, November 11, 2010. Hi, I'm Savannah Nixon. And I'm Taryn Murray. Could you state your name, please? My name is Captain Scott Coolidge. Uh, what is your service? United States Navy. Uh, how long are you, have you been in the Navy? I've been in the Navy about 24 and a half years, going on 25 years. Wow. <laughs> I'm an old guy. <laughs> um, as a... As a veteran, can you tell us the experiences you had in foreign conflicts? Um, well, in 24 years, uh, it's been a long road. Uh, you know, when I started out, the uh, the enemy was the Soviet Union, uh, and we fought the Cold War. Uh, the first decade of my service, in the last decade of my service, as we know, the nation has been at war in both Iraq and Afghanistan for a decade now. Uh, and if you count the time in the no-fly zone, we've actually been at war almost 20 years in aviation. Um, my most recent experiences were in Afghanistan, where I served as a, a battalion commander in the 82nd Airborne down in southern Afghanistan, um, just south of Kabul, north of Kandahar, uh, on a small base down in that area, where I was there for 13 months. Wow. Um, can you tell us about some of your medals? Um, most of them are just because I've been in a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> and the, But the way we do it in the military... Uh, is they put the uh, the least important medals down bottom and the most important ones um, up top um, in in, uh, in order of precedence. Um, so most of them are just represent campaigns I've been in from Afghanistan to to Iraq um, to other areas of the world. Um, can you tell us the significance of the American flag to you? Significance of the American flag. Wow, I could spend like days on that one. I guess. <laughs> um, it represents freedom, um, I think, to oppress people all over the world. I've seen that flag raised in, in different areas of the world. Um, I've seen it laid on the coffins of fallen comrades and handed to their mothers and their loved ones. Um, so I've seen it at its best, at its worst. I've seen it soiled. Um, I've seen it torn up. Um, and I've seen it raised in victory over bases all over the world. Um, so that's kind of what it represents to me. But to people all over the world, I would say, despite what you see and maybe hear on the news from day to day when you see it burned and stepped on, um, to most of the people of this world, it, it represents a good thing. It re represents democracy and freedom uh, and a better way of life. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share with Puerto Rico High School? Oh, that's pretty big, wide, broad, general <laughs> question, but I would just say that I would thank the people of Port Aransas uh, and the students here at the school, um, because there will be a lot of people today who go through their day-to-day -day lives uh, and not even realize today's Veterans Day, and not even realize what today is all about, uh, and not even think about the fact that our nation is still at war today, and good young men and women are on the battlefield in Afghanistan and Iraq, um, ready to give that last full measure of devotion. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.